Hey Sunny fam, I'm Brittany Noel and I'm gonna be your Sunny instructor for today. Today I'm gonna be taking you through a 30 minute elliptical workout. It's gonna be for intermediate people and we're gonna be pretending like we are at a magical theme park. So go ahead and jump on your elliptical and let's get started. All right. We don't want any resistance right now. We're just gonna kind of go at a regular little pace here. Some quick form checks. Make sure that those toes are pointing north and south, please. So heels lined up with the toes. Also make sure that they are about hips width apart. And then for your arms, you wanna make sure that they're nice and relaxed, shoulders down away from your ears. Remember that shoulders are ear poisoning. You also wanna make sure that your wrists are about at the same height as your shoulders. And again, we're just trying to be nice and relaxed. We want to try to find a nice balance between our upper and lower bodies. Also another quick note, make sure we keep that core nice and engaged while we are doing this. Okay. So now that we've gone through all the logistics of, you know, the form things really want you to just find your rhythm here. Go ahead and settle into a pace that is just a moderate pace. Okay. So for this workout, I promised you that we were gonna be journeying through a magical theme park. So pick whatever magical theme park that you would like. Um, and we're gonna just be pretending like we're going there. We're gonna be having a day at the park while we do this workout. So we're gonna be switching back and forth between interval sets. I will let you know what we're gonna be doing. For these first few intervals, we're just gonna be alternating between fast and slow. Now, if you're someone that likes a little resistance with your interval training, go ahead and pick a comfortable resistance. But just know that later on in this workout, we are going to be doing resisted versus non-resisted. So I would say if you choose to do resistance, you wanna pick one that's not like your ultimate resistance level because we're gonna be really playing with that later on, okay? So for now, I want you to pretend like we just walked in to your favorite magical park and we're just trying to get the lay of the land here. We haven't been here in a while. We don't know where we are going. We need to figure out, you know, which land we want to venture to first. We need to look at the lines, see what's going to be the longest line. We're just trying to walk around, see if there's any gift shops around, if there's any cool food places we want to check out, stroll down, see if there's any good photo opportunities right now. If maybe there's no one hanging out in front of your favorite castle, go ahead, take a few photos, snap, snap. Let's get ready there. If you see maybe your favorite character floating around, go ahead, stop in front of them, give them a little ching ching, smile, smile. Okay, so we're still doing good. Um, also, quick note as well, I want you to be focusing on our breathing. As we're going through this park, we're gonna be having a lot of fun. So sometimes when we're having a lot of fun, we forget to focus on our breathing. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, we've just looked at our map. We know that the spaceship ride has a really short line. So we're gonna go fast. We're gonna go ahead and sprint on across to the other side of the park. So we can go ahead and get in line at our favorite spaceship ride, okay? So we're just, we're moving it here. We're really going fast. We're dodging babies. We're going past people. Don't be too crazy though. We don't knock anyone down. We're just trying to like casually, but briskly make it to the spaceship ride because we don't want to like alert people that we know that the line is not so long right now. If we just go like flying past people, knocking down babies, that's not gonna be a good look. They're gonna be like, where is she going? Oh my goodness. There must be something really cool. Must be a short line at the spaceship ride. We don't wanna do that. So we're going fast, but controlled. Stealth mode, we got about 12 seconds to get there. Otherwise that line is gonna jump from being an hour away to like two hours and 20. We don't have time for that. We've got a busy day. We gotta get on a lot of rides. All right, so cool, we made it. We're now hanging out. We're doing a nice little saunter through the spaceship line. What's cool is even though this is a super long, windy, twindy <laughs> line, uh, no one's in line right now. So we're just kind of casually walking through that line. We're exploring things. You're seeing some cool galaxy designs, checking out the stars, seeing some spaceship models. Um, we see some cool things from an intergalactic universe as we're winding, twinding down to get to our favorite spaceship ride. So go ahead, take a deep breath. Exhale, we're gonna go ahead and walk on past here. Pretend like we have just gotten off the ride. Woo, 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 we had a ton of fun. So now we're getting off that ride. We are exiting out of the area. And now we have noticed that clear across the park, our favorite water ride has now said we're open, the line is short. So let's go ahead, 
go fast, we need to go ahead and go to our favorite water ride. So now we're moving, we're going to a whole nother land, a whole nother side of the park. We're moving it, we're moving it. You're going fast. Again, we wanna make sure that we get to this water ride, but that we don't take anybody out on the way there, okay? So have your speed increased here. We gotta make there, we've got about 27 seconds to get to this water ride. We do not, again, wanna be stuck in a line that's like an hour. We gotta get through this line in like 20 minutes, okay? So, we got about 15 seconds. Keep making your way through there. Ooh, we passed the tree house, that's fun. We're almost to the water ride, and we'll be there in five, four, three, almost there, two, one. Okay, relax, woo, okay. Breathe it out. Inhale, exhale, we're in line now, but the line is moving nice and fast. We're experiencing some cool air because it's hot outside. Ugh, trying to sprint to these lines is starting to do a little bit of uh, giving us some heat. So really nice to just be in this nice cool area as we're walking it out, going through this line. We are so going to appreciate the water once we get on this water line. So we're gonna go, we went on our ride. So much fun, woo, woo, woo. Scream, scream, scream. <laughs> we got a little splashy slash. We got a little wet. So now we are feeling good. We are ready now to leave this ride and we're gonna go and we're gonna go hop on a little cruise. So that'll be super fun too. So we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get off this water ride exit and we're gonna hang a right. We gotta make it. They said that they're going to only let five people onto the next cruise or we're gonna have to wait another hour to catch it. So we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move. We gotta go, we gotta make it to so go fast. Remember, if we wanna go faster here on our elliptical, really think about getting those knees up, moving those arms, engaging that core. We gotta make it to the cruise ride. We've got about 30 more seconds to go. And I'm super excited because on this cruise ride, they have these skippers that are so funny. They tell the best jokes ever. So we don't wanna miss it. We wanna be one of the five people that get to go on to the special cruise. So we're almost there in five, four, three, get to the platform and one. Okay, good. Whew. We made it, awesome. Let your heart rate go down. We were able to make it. Now this is a really cool little cruise because this time they told us we could walk around in circles on the boat. Don't worry, don't tell the skipper I said that. So we're actually walking around the boat. We're exploring some things. We're seeing some hippos. They're fake, don't worry. <laughs> we see some cool jungle animals and we're just hanging out on this cruise ship, allowing our heart rate to go ahead and get down. And we're gonna sit here and we're gonna think about where we're gonna go after this park. So I don't know about you, we've done three rides already. I think after we get off of this ride, we should definitely go ahead and get ourselves a little snack. So I want you to think of um, where in this park we can find a nice little refreshment, you know, get a little snack, maybe some fruit, some water, or whatever your favorite little snack is. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get off this cruise and we're gonna proceed to another part of the park. Now, I want you to picture that item that we're gonna go get. We're gonna go, we have to go across the park. I don't know why all of our favorite things are always across the park. We don't pick things right next door to each other. So we're making our way, we don't want that line. We're hungry, we're thirsty. We wanna go ahead and replenish. So let's go ahead and go over there before there's a long line. So we're going, we're going, we're going, we're moving. We can see our favorite little food stand there. And we're just gonna go there to pick up a little something, something before it gets too crowded. So let's go ahead. We're moving, we're moving. I'm seeing it. Oh my gosh, these balloons. There's balloons in my face. I don't know why every time we're walking around this park, there's always a balloon person that comes out of nowhere with these big old balloons. Ugh, it's obstructing my view to see what we're gonna go get. All right, so we got five seconds. We're almost to our favorite food place. And three, two, one, amazing, all right, we got it. Cool, we have our favorite little item. We're now walking around. I am envisioning myself, taking a few sips for success. 
of my water as I'm walking around. I've got some cool food. I'm gonna go ahead, take that down. And next, I'm gonna look at my little activity counter and I see that the adventure ride has a really short line. The adventure ride has a short line, only 20 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and prepare ourselves to go on to our adventure ride. But we've got about 20 seconds before we have to start heading there. So make sure you take the time, swig some water, go ahead and replenish, take a few deep breaths, and we're gonna get ready to go over to our adventure ride. Also, quick note, just wanna let you guys know, you're doing awesome so far on our magical adventure. We have a lot more adventuring to do. So let's go ahead, make our way to the other part of the, bar to the park, to that adventure ride. So we're moving it, we're moving, we're seeing people, we see some dapper looking fellows that are singing us a song as we are walking across the park really fast. We actually are starting to pick up to a little bit of a jog, a nice safe jog here, a little bit faster because we are seeing that this line, there's a lot of people going towards that direction. A lot of people wanna get on the adventure ride and we have a jam packed schedule. So we cannot afford to spend more time in line than what we need to. So we've got about 25 seconds to get to this adventure line ride. I'm seeing it. I'm also seeing a lot of people. So we just wanna politely, you know, cruise on in front of them, scoot in and claim our spot in line. You've got seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, okay. So we're relaxing again. We're inside now. We're going through some whiny tiny caves and caverns. Just taking a moment to cool down a little bit. We're going slower now because there's some people in here that we're trailing behind. But the line is moving pretty good. Take, around, take a moment, look around. We see some cool movie props in here. We see some stones. We see some cool little uh, shrunken heads and things. Um, we're really excited and pumped to go on this adventure ride. We're seeing some cool ancient artifacts. We're seeing fun things to look at as we're going through here. Awesome, we hopped on our ride. We had a great time. It was very, very, very adventurous. So now we're gonna go ahead and exit out of this cur this cave, and then we're gonna go, and we've decided we wanna go find some pirates. So we looked, we saw the pirate ride has a short line again. So let's go ahead and make our way across the park. We've gotta get there before too many swashbucklers come and take our spot, okay? So let's go ahead and go. Eye on the prize. I don't know about you, I get super excited to go on the pirate ride because I like to see some of my favorite people. I like to pretend like I'm a pirate and we're gonna go ransack a few, uh, what do you call pirate ships? I was like, what are those things called? The pirates are on ships, so let's go ahead and go. We've got 30 seconds to make it there or else we're gonna be locked out and we do not want that. So we've gotta go, again, knees up, pump those arms. We're making our way through the park. I see the entrance to the pirate ride right up ahead. I see those crossbones, so I know that I'm close. I see the skeleton as well. So we're gonna go ahead in five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. We made it in line. Again, we're cruising. We're walking around that line. We see a couple people enjoying their dinner across the way in the candlelight. We're checking out some of these scrolls and crossbones. We see a little cute dog with keys. We are looking at some of these ship artifacts. We're having a great time cooling down as we walk around in this ride. Taking a few moments to take a big breath, inhale, exhale. Awesome. Now, if you think that you're tired, from going to all these different rides. I've been talking this whole time, so I'm really tired, but it's okay. We're gonna make it through together. Like I said, we are about halfway done with this workout. So that means we're halfway done with our magical adventure. And there's still so much more that we have to see. So I want you to go ahead and get ready for us to go ahead and go to the next part of the park, okay? So we just finished our awesome pirate adventure and we hear that there is a parade happening. So let's go ahead, exit. We wanna try to get to the best part of the theme park for us to see the parade. 
I don't know about you, but I love the parade because all my favorite characters are there. I get to see my favorite princesses, my favorite villains. There's good music. There's fun dancing. There's costumes, there's floats. Um, so I wanna be there and I wanna get a good spot. So let's go ahead, make sure that we make it to the best part of the park. I want a nice view right in front of the castle as I can see all my favorite characters come down. We gotta go ahead, make sure we get there before all the kids and grannies and everything take all the good spots, right? All the good seats. We wanna be able to sit or at least stand in the premier location while we watch this parade. So let's go. We've got 10 seconds. Increase your pace just a little bit because we're super close. I see a crowd, a big family of like 10. That's gonna come get right in the bit spot. So awesome, we got there, cool. So we found a really cool part of the park where no one's noticed this little nook that we have. So we can still see the parade, but we can also go ahead and walk around in circles so we're maintaining our nice heartbeat. So we're gonna be slower than what we were, but still able to move around enjoying that parade. I'm super excited. Go ahead, take a moment. Hopefully you still have some of your beverage with you. Take a few sips for success. That way you're ready for our next adventure. And make sure that you're taking a moment to wave to your favorite characters. You're having fun, you're dancing, and we're just having a great time. So you have about 10 more seconds left to relax. And then we're gonna head on over to Fantasy Ride. So let's go ahead. We see the fantasy ride is now open. So we're gonna go to the fantasy themed area of the park. So let's go ahead and move it. Again, we wanna make sure that we make it to this fantasy ride really quickly so we don't have to spend a lot of time in line. So I want you to just picture yourself walking across the park. We left the parade. We are still really excited about that. We're going towards the fantasy side of the park. Again, we see a big, family of 10 in front of us. They're following us all around the park. We wanna make sure that we get there right before them to go ahead and slide right in that line so we can get done faster. You've got about 18 seconds to make it to the front of the line. Let's go, you're doing great. Move those feet. We're almost there. And five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, okay. We are on the fantasy ride. Woo, 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 woo. Fun times. We're seeing all these fun little dolls and learning about different cultures. We're having fun. Mostly we're again enjoying getting some cool air and allowing our heart rate to come down. Walking a little bit slower now as we are exploring this fantasy ride. Now, here's a little thing that's coming up. Our next set of intervals. We're gonna be doing resisted versus non-resisted, but we're gonna be going at a more moderate pace. So it's getting late in the park, right? At this point, we've done a lot of walking, a lot of jogging too. So our legs are starting to feel really heavy. So we're gonna have to work a little bit harder to get our legs to move, to go to our favorite parts of the park. So I want you to pretend everybody, we all just found out that our favorite restaurant is no longer taking reservations. Instead, they've opened up and they're accepting walk-ins. So we're walking there, but we're kind of, again, our legs are just kind of stiff. So we're going, we're getting there. We're just a little bit more sticky right now, okay? So we're a little like, oh, our legs are tired. We got some resistance. So we're just gonna make our way at a moderate pace over to our favorite restaurant because we've been trying to get to this magical restaurant for years, but every time we come to the park, they said we don't have any reservations, we're not accepting walk-ins, so this is our chance. They're like, woo, we're gonna let you in, so we need to go there, we need a little bit of a replenishment because we still have like fireworks later, we still have more rides to ride, so let's go ahead and get there. Okay, we've got four seconds. I see the restaurant doors and awesome. So we're gonna go ahead. We're non-resisted now. So we're gonna go non-resisted. Our legs are feeling a little bit better because now 
we're just kind of in the restaurant chilling, walking around. So we're feeling like, okay, we're getting our second win. Legs are more loose. But we're still going at this nice moderate pace, okay? Because we're inside. We don't wanna knock anybody down. We just wanna keep it moving. So we're going non-resisted, moderate pace. As we walk around our favorite restaurant, we're so excited, we are pumped. We haven't been in here before, so we're just taking the time to uh, explore all of the cool decorations, noticing things, getting our breath, having a few sips for success of our water. And we are coming to the end of our visit. We're gonna go back outside and we're gonna go see about going to the resisted ride. So we're gonna go ahead, put back on our resistance here as we walk our way over to find the ride about resistance. So we're going across the park again, moderate place. We've got some resistance here. There's a whole lot of people making their way to this part of the park. So again, we're not able to go quite so fast, but we're really excited to get on this ride. We're really excited to see some of our favorite characters help to escape uh, the rebellion, or we are part of the rebellion. I don't know whatever team you wanna be on, you figure that out, but we're gonna go on this resisted ride. So we're gonna be there in about 20 seconds. So remember, we have to get there because we have a time that we have to be there. We waited up at 7 a.m. in the morning to make sure that we got to the park in time so we could go on this resisted ride. So we can't miss it. We only have 10 seconds or they're gonna be like, sorry, your whole party can't make it. We don't want that to happen. So you have five seconds and four, three, almost there, two, one, awesome. Okay, take that resistance off. Woo, okay, we're having fun. This is exciting. We're meeting characters, we're escaping. We've got cool plans. We are, uh, we are resisting evil. We're working together. <laughs> um, we're hanging out with the light side over here for the next 40 seconds. If you're on the dark side, that's fine. No judgment, do what's best for you. you <laughs> this is your workout. So whatever side you wanna work with, light, dark, you figure it out. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, all fine. You just make up whatever works well for you in your workout. Cool? Deal. Okay. We got 20 seconds. We got 20 seconds to make it out of here. Resist uh, the force here and get out. So, okay. Almost done. And then we're going to put our resistance back on. We've got to make it to the fireworks. So, we're going to put some resistance on here. Oops, I need a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so we're resisted. We're keeping this nice moderate pace. We are going to find a nice little spot to watch the fireworks. We're trying to make our way to the castle because the castle is where there's the best view of the fireworks. But again, there's a lot of people here. We're really tired. We've been at the park for hours at this point. So our legs are still a little thick. Thick? Wow, stiff. <laughs> Apparently, I've done so much working out, my tongue is thick in the front of my teeth. It's okay though. We've got 20 seconds to try to find that awesome view. We're going, we see where we're trying to get to. And you've got nine seconds. We see that hole closing in. We're not gonna have the best spot to see the fireworks. And relax, okay? Woo, 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 oop, there we go. Does that happen to you ever? Sometimes I go to decrease my resistance and I turn the right, the wrong way and then I'm like, wait a minute, this got harder, not easier. So it's okay, it happens to the best of us. But now we should be not resisted. So we're hanging out, waiting for the fireworks to start. So you're just chilling out here, walking around, again, pacing. You actually, um, Notice that one of your favorite shops is open. So you're just gonna go into one of their shops real fast, peruse around, you know, look for some cool souvenir to take with you. You're browsing and just enjoying having your legs be a little bit looser as you're looking up some stuff, okay? So again, nice moderate pace and you're relaxing. But I want you to go ahead, increase your resistance again because we just realized there's another part of the park that actually has a better view of the fireworks. 
So we're actually now going through the crowd again, trying to go at a nice moderate pace, but trying to get to a different part to see our fireworks, okay? Our legs are a little bit heavier again. They're a little bit stickier. So we're having to work a little bit harder, but don't worry, it's gonna be worth it. Because again, we're gonna see that better view of the fireworks. So we got about 30 seconds to make it to that other spot. It's a little bit closer. We can see more of the show. We can see the castle lighting up a little bit better. So don't worry, this resistance that you're feeling, it's gonna be worth it. Even though our legs are a little bit tired, we're gonna be good. You've got 10 seconds to make it over there. You're doing great, keep it up. You've got five seconds. And all right, go ahead and take the resistance off. I turned it the right way this time. Woo, 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 okay. Go ahead and take a few deep breaths. You're really excited. You're gonna flag down the person with the blinky lights. You're gonna go ahead and grab yourself a blinky light because you're excited. You're gonna sit there, you're gonna wave it, you're gonna watch the fireworks. It's amazing. You're like, woo, most fabulous fireworks ever. This is great. But you're still moving. You're that weird person in the crowd that's like walking and pacing around while you're watching the fireworks. Don't worry, no one's judging you. They're busy watching the fireworks. So they can't tell that you're kind of doing walking still, but we're still looking at the fireworks. We're waving our fun little doohickey that we just got. How much of light in the sky? You got about 10 seconds left to enjoy your fireworks. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit up some more of these shops. All right, so now it's resisted. So it's that time of night when all the people who are tired because they've been at the park all day, they're trying to leave the park, but not us. We're not ready to leave yet. We still want to go try and find another ride to get on. So we want to go to the Zippy Dippy Cups. So we want to go across the park to the Zippy Dippy Cups, but there's so many people in front of us. So again, we still can't go super fast and we're feeling some resistance here because people are pushing past us to get to the exit. But we wanna go to the Zippy Dippy Cups before the night is over, because we're not gonna have a good day unless we get some Zippy Dippy time. So, you've got 20 seconds to make it to the Zippy Dippy Cups. Let's keep those knees up, move those arms, keep breathing for, the, for Pete's sake, keep breathing, blow it out. I know it's getting harder. We've been doing this for a while, but I've got faith in you. I promise you, getting to the Zippy Dippy Cups is gonna be super fun. So we are here, go ahead and decrease the resistance. We are now on our Zippy Dippy Cups, having a good old time. We're zipping, we're spinning. I don't know about you, I love spinning rides. I'm not much of a roller coaster gal. I don't like drops. I don't like that feeling in my stomach, but I could spin all day, okay? I can spin till the cows come home. I don't know, oh, I do know that an expression comes from. I had to think about that. Okay, um, but yes. Zippy Dippy Cups, my favorite. I don't care how old I get. I'm never gonna get tired of sitting in a teacup and like spinning around for dear life. It's fun every single time. And if you're a person who's not a spinny person, just don't spin yourself, right? You have the option to kind of chill and kick back. But regardless, we're having a great time on the Zippy Dippy Cups. We're giving ourselves just the opportunity to enjoy this time in our last ride here. And in just a moment, we're gonna cool down as we get off the Zippy Dippy Cups and walk and exit the park. Cool, okay, so I was just double checking there that our resistance was all the way down. We're gonna do about a minute cool down. So we're gonna make our way sort of dizzily walking out of the park. Again, there's not a huge rush because we wanna hang out here longer. We had fun. We know the park is closed, but it's okay. They're not gonna kick us out. So let's just stroll on down to Main Street here and uh, give ourselves some time, check out the lights. Again, grab any last minute souvenirs that you wanna take. Enjoy the magical atmosphere, the magical music as you are exiting the park. Allow your heart rate to go down. Allow yourself to get a few good breaths in. Go ahead and take some sips for success. Your day is over. So make sure that you're just doing some things to help yourself recover. Um, and you did an awesome job today on our magical workout. I had so much fun with you. Make sure you take some time to stretch and cool down and I will see you in the next workout. Bye for now.